Hey guys, it is Monday, April 26th, and I have some exciting news. I got a new office space. I got a lot of work to do today, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick tour of this place. All right, so this uh, building was originally a house and converted into an office space. It's a little segmented, but I think it's gonna work out really well for what I need. And you guys might know my brother-in-law, Brennan, from the Curious Picker channel. He is gonna share this space with me. He's been working out of his basement and he's ready to have his own space. Currently, at my place, I've got 400 square feet plus two storage units, a total 200 square feet, and this place is 2,100 square feet plus 1,000 square feet in the basement. So we've got a ton of room, and I think it's gonna work out perfectly. So this right in here is probably gonna be my office. A lot of natural light. This might even be kind of like a YouTube studio to record some videos. And then we come down here, there's a big double office right here. And I think Brennan is probably gonna take all this space here. We're probably gonna get rid of these desks and stuff because I don't think we need these massive desks. This room right here is probably just gonna hold eBay inventory. Got a nice bathroom. This room right here will hold eBay inventory and I think it's also gonna be my packing room. This room will be the listing room. So I'm gonna have photo area and kind of a holding area too. Cause like here's the front door. So as I'm bringing stuff in, I'm gonna sort everything here. You know, what I wanna put on eBay, what I wanna sell locally. That way it's, you know, a little bit organized. And then there's a front room here too. That's pretty interesting. Not completely sure what I wanna do with this space yet, but there is a ramp right here, so. If I have furniture or anything, I can have a dolly go right up the ramp. And this space kind of makes sense to have, you know, some smaller pieces of furniture for sale. So my thought is, first floor is pretty much all my eBay stuff. And we're going to go to the second floor. And that is where I'm going to do local sales. So I've been buying like crazy. I've had to pass on a lot of buys because I currently don't have the space to put everything where I'm at. But this will allow me to buy more and sell more. So I'd like selling to other local resellers you know because obviously i can't put everything on ebay myself just sell to local people wanting random odds and ends stuff and that's what the second floor is going to be for so we've got three big rooms here i'm sorry yeah three big rooms in the bathroom again more desks that we'll probably have to clear out of here but there's plenty of space up here I'll go ahead and show you guys the basement too. There's a lot of space down here. A couple washer and dryers. The landlord said we could just sell them and you know keep the money. I think he just wants to get rid of a lot of this stuff. And then a bunch more space in here. Personally, my favorite part of this place is all of the space we've got back here. There's tons of parking. We've got total coverage of trees everywhere. They're in here, the birds chirping. And the driveway comes all the way around. So you pull in here and then it goes all the way back around, back to the street. I'm starting to move the next couple of weeks and I'm gonna try to sell off as much as I can in my old warehouse. Uh, I'm gonna try to sell off some listed eBay inventory, a lot of the unlisted stuff that I have because I've just got so much stuff and the less I have to move, the better. Over the weekend, I actually sent out a ton of offers. Um, just almost every item I had, if I had a watcher, I sent out an offer on it because if I can ship it and just get rid of it, not have to move it, then that's awesome. So I've got 59 eBay orders to ship out today. So let's get back to the old warehouse and get to work. All right, back at the warehouse and I realized I left out a couple details about my new office that you guys might be curious about. Um, I am renting instead of buying. The rent is $1,800 a month and as far as like cost per square foot, it's cheaper than my curtain space and the location is really what sold it for us. It's only like seven minutes from my house and it's three minutes from Brennan's house. So it's gonna be a short drive every day. I cannot wait to get over there and get started. Okay, first handful of orders, I went ahead and pulled from my storage unit. That's something I'm not gonna to have to do much longer. I'd say the majority of the orders going out today are offers that I sent out. So if the price ends in zero, zero, it was an offer. And if it ends in 99 cents, then it was not a best offer. So figure that'll be easier instead of just saying, you know, best offer every single time. Okay, first thing is this Abercrombie uh, shirt. Got this in a bulk bias stuff, so I've only got a dollar or two into it. That sold for $10 plus shipping. 
Next is this L.L. Bean Fisherman shirt that sold for $12 plus shipping. Here is this Norway sweater you guys saw me pick up at that garage sale maybe three weeks ago. That sold for $27 plus shipping. Back here is a Flogging Molly shirt. I've had that for quite some time. I uh, only have a dollar into it. That sold for $11 plus shipping. We've got this cool Houday Bengals hat. This is in that big hat buy I just made. That sold for $14 plus shipping. Here is a Coke hat that I got in Piqua maybe three weeks ago from Fred. That sold for $12 plus shipping. Going out to a viewer named Daniel. And here is a Les Mis shirt. That sold for $15 free shipping. Going out to a viewer named Pat. Daniel and Pat, thanks so much for the support. Next thing I'm pulling is this Coleman expandable distribution tree. I've sold like three of these already. And this is the last one that I have. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next is a coffee mug in A2, right up here. This cool Zenith Data Systems. This is part of that big eBay store buyout. That sold for $9 plus shipping. Your name Christy got this for her boyfriend, Mark. Christy, thank you so much for the business. I hope he likes the mug. Next is an interesting sale. Let's see, it's over here on E2. This is the first time I've ever seen these. I got these from my guy Mike a few months ago. They are battery heated socks. Those sold for $9 plus shipping going out to viewer named Jason. Jason, I appreciate the support. Thanks so much. Okay, next thing is a fedora hat. And I must not have put a code on it. Well, I lost it because I didn't see one. But I think I spy it right here. Yeah, I'm almost positive this is it. There's the Martings tag right there. Okay, this sold for $9 plus shipping going out to a viewer named Patrick. Patrick, thanks for the business. I hope you like the hat. Okay, next we're pulling some cards. I just went ahead and pulled the whole box over here to make it a little bit easy. First is a Xander Bogarts rookie card. And it is a red foil. This card, that sold for $40 free shipping. Next is an Edwin Encarnacion signed patch card right there. Numbered 4 of 10. That sold for $17 free shipping. I sold a Manny Machado Mike Trout card. This one right here. That sold for $22 free shipping. Sold another Xander Bogarts card. This is the blue uh, version of the, his rookie card. That sold for $15 free shipping. Sold a Peyton Manning card. This is a 2011 Topps Chrome Blue Parallel. That sold for $29.99 free shipping. Sold a Luis Castillo card. This is a really cool one. It's really thick. Has this gold border. That's autograph number 50. Uh, that sold for $18.99. Free shipping going out to a viewer named Jorge. Thank you, Jorge. Sold a Blake Snell autograph card. Let's see. It is Bowman's Best. Gotta be careful because I got a few Blake Snells in here. Let's see. This one right here. Yeah, Bowman's Best Refractor. That sold for $20 free shipping going out to Peter. So thank you for that, Peter. Hope you like that card. Sold another Blake Snell autograph. This is the Topps High Tech version. That sold for $13.99 free shipping. Sold a Roberto Clemente card out of here. Not a vintage one, it's a new one. Uh, it still has a really cool look to it. That sold for $11 free shipping. Sold a JJ Watt card out of here. It is the orange parallel of his rookie card right here. That sold for $19 free shipping. Going out to viewer named Chandler. Sold a printing plate. One of one of Henry Owens. That card right there, that sold for $13 free shipping. Sold a Bowman's Best Matt Manning autograph right there. That sold for $14.99 free shipping. And that is it for this box. So go ahead and put this back. Okay, next thing's on B2. It is this Pixar Lightning McQueen car. Box was a little bit beat up, so that hurt it a little bit. That sold for nine dollars plus shipping. If your name Kalen bought that for her son, Kalen, thank you for the support. I hope your son likes that car. Next is on A3. It's a Mark Martin car right here. Pro Racing Hot Wheels that sold for nine dollars plus shipping. But I didn't leave their name, but they say thanks for sending the generous offer for this car. I had this car and many other Mark Martin collectibles. I lost the collection due to Hurricane Francis. There was just too much mold to save it all. That sucks. I'm sorry, man. Nearly 20 years later, it is nice to see this piece come home again. I'm a full-time eBay reseller and value your videos help make me some good money. Love to hear that. My store is BK Sells Stuff One. If you have a spare sticker, toss one in, please. Thanks so much for the support, and I've got a couple of stickers also in your way. Okay, next thing, we're going back to B2. This vintage realistic stereo cassette adapter for 8-track players. <laughs> Definitely dates this thing. I got this from Danny of Piccolo Resellers as part of a bulk buy. That's over $12 plus shipping. Next, we're going to D41. This guy right here. This is, I think it's like a cheat code type thing for Nintendo GameCube. I'm not 100% 
positive. It's called Cube Joy Box. I've only got a couple dollars into this. It sold for $17 free shipping. All right, now we're pulling this box from C4. There's a number of cards sold out of here. Let's see, I sold an autograph Raleigh Fingers card. This one right here, it is, what is it called? Tops Tier 1, number to 250. That sold for $19 free shipping. Next is a David Ortiz card. This one right here, I believe this is a short print that sold for $12 free shipping. Sold a Mike Trout card right here. Has a really cool look to it. It's a refractor. That sold for $19 free shipping. Sold another Blake Snell autograph card right here. This is a uh, Bowman Chrome refractor rookie. That sold for $19.99 free shipping. And next is two J.J. Watt rookie cards. These right here. There's a uh, Topps Chrome base and a Topps Chrome refractor. They had a couple little scuffs on the surface. I made sure that I pointed that out. Um, same buyer got these and a Keebler Elf toy over here at F32. Right here. And the cars and the Elf toy uh, all together sold for $44.98 free shipping. Going out to a viewer named Christine. Christine, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. All right, I'm going to take a break from packing orders and answer a couple of viewer questions. First is from JV28212. Hey, John, love the videos, by the way. Question, what is the most common size box you use for shipping and where do you get them? I've started selling on eBay in December, going hard since then. I've been selling since 2011, but not like I am now because of you showing us great content and ideas. Keep the videos coming. Thank you, man. Okay, so the majority of my boxes I get from USPS.com. They're totally free. They'll ship them to you. Um, a lot of post offices will have them too. Um, but then there's other smaller boxes that I get. Like I use 6x4x4. By four by four. I use 8x6x4, 10x8x6. A lot of those I get online. Uh, and I'll put a link down below in the description for those boxes. Um, and a lot of the USPS boxes I use, this shoe box is really popular. This is a 15x8x6. I use these right here quite a bit. These are, I think, 1095s. Yeah, 1095s. These are like 13 by 3 by 15. Uh, I use 1092s a lot too. Those are 13 by 3 by 14. I use these quite a bit. These are 7 by 7 by 7. I'm sorry, 7 by 7 by 6. And then uh, up here is a lot of my non uh, post office boxes. So, like, these are 8 by 6 by 4s. These are 10 by 8 by 6s. I've got some little ones over here, six by four by four. Whatever you do, do not go to like Walmart or Office Depot or Staples or any of those places and pay for boxes because they're gonna be two or three times as much as if you bought them online. Um, you can get smaller boxes for like 35, 40 cents each. Like they're not that bad if you buy them online. So just avoid paying, you know, crazy prices at the big box stores. Okay, next is from Relentless Haggler. I like that name. John, how do you deal with immediate cancellations? Basically, right after they send payment, they ask for cancellation. I've had six just this week. That sucks. Don't understand why. I don't get it either. It's probably just buyer's remorse, um, or maybe their spouse found out that they bought something. It's like, why are you spending that money? And then they cancel it. So, unfortunately, there's just nothing at all you can do about it. Just accept the cancellation, and uh, hopefully they did it before you shipped it out, because then you're not dealing with returns and everything like that. So, just chalk it up to part of doing business and hopefully it gets better. If you guys have a question for me, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it in a future video. Okay, next thing is a football helmet. Let's see, right over here, I got this quite a long time ago, six, nine months ago from uh, Pickwell Resellers. I thought it had an awesome look to it. I don't think it has a ton of value, but still a really neat helmet. That sold for $12 plus shipping going out to your name, Clint. Clint, thank you so much for the support. Next thing is down in A51. This is a hat I recently picked up as part of that big hat buy. This is Red Man Chewing Tobacco. That sold for $14 plus shipping. And if your name Bradley got this hat, Bradley, thanks for the support. I hope you like the hat. Next thing is an A41. It is a hockey puck. Let's see. I know it's in here somewhere. There it is. Cincinnati Cyclones. Uh, WEBN released this. And this sold for $10 free shipping. And this is going out to Luke. You guys might remember him. I bought a ton of Funko Pops from him maybe like three or four months ago, something like that. And he didn't even realize that I was the one he bought it from until after the fact. So, Luke, thank you so much for the business, dude. Hope you like the puck. Okay, next thing is a Johnny Mathis reel to reel. And I think it is somewhere on this shelf. It was an old inventory code, and I think I moved things around. Let's see. Maybe this one? Yep, I think this is the one. I got a bunch of reel-to-reels, maybe like 
six, nine months ago, something like that. I don't have much into them. This one sold for $8 plus shipping going out to your name, Chris. Chris, thank you for the business. It means a lot. Next thing is a lasagna pan. You guys saw me pick up, I guess it's been two, three weeks ago now, something like that. This is made by Dansk. It's really clean, good condition. I paid $10 for this and it sold for $32 plus shipping. Next thing is a belt buckle. Uh, old inventory code that says D4. So I'm guessing it is maybe down in here. Let's see if this is it. Yeah, Committee of Vigilance from San Francisco. That sold for $12 free shipping. Next we're going to A31. It is some Harley wrenches right down here. I've only got 50 cents or a dollar into these. I got these, I want to say like nine months ago at a garage sale, and they sold for $17 free shipping. Viewer named Stephanie got them for her husband. Stephanie, thanks for the support. I hope your husband likes those wrenches. Okay, next order is three diecast cars. First is Robert Presley up here on E1. Um, maybe this one, I think. Let me check the thing here. Yeah, here it is, Robert Presley. And next car, let's check the order here, it is on B3. It is Daryl Waltrip. I think it's this one back here. Yep, Daryl Waltrip. These two are going to the same buyer for $20 plus shipping. And they also got one other car. It's on C4. It is a Tony Stewart. I believe it is this one right here. So let's slide that one out of the way. And this one sold for $10 plus shipping. I'll just combine all three in the same box and refund them the difference in the shipping cost. And those are all going out to viewer named Austin. Austin, thanks for the support. I hope you like those cars. Okay, next is on C42. It is this vintage Hulk toy that I got from that big Hulk buy. This is from 1974. It is by Mego, and this sold for $45 free shipping. Next is a video game over here in D41. Big old bass for PS1. That sold for $13.99 plus shipping. Next is a water heater timer. Let's see, on B3, I think it's underneath this Lion King. Yeah, this is it right here. This was part of that eBay store buyout. That sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a Mr. Christmas Holiday Symphonium. It's got a bunch of discs that play different Christmas songs and kind of surprised it's sold in April, but these do have a pretty good demand. I've sold one before. I just got this at a garage sale two weeks ago for my friend Krista, actually, and I paid $10 for it. It sold for $44.99 plus shipping. Okay, next thing is on C3. Let's see, it is a camera, and I think it's in a box. Hmm. Well, it might be an old inventory code. It might be hiding behind this box. I am not totally sure. Here it is. It's the camera and a couple of lenses. Let me pull all this stuff out. So this bundle sold for $20 plus shipping. Your name Heavenly bought that camera stuff, and she says that her son Hagen watches all my videos. Hagen, thank you so much for your support. I'm definitely going to send some stickers your way. Okay, next thing's on C2. It is a hat. Well, old inventory code again, but this is it right here. This is a cool Atlanta Hawks hat, New Era 950. That's sold for $9 plus shipping, going out to Vernon Russell. Russell says, thanks for a great offer. Love buying from you and watching both your channels. I'm excited that you're getting back to those uploads with your brother-in-law. They are fun to watch. He's talking about resellers and cars getting trash. Thanks again, Russell. Russell, thanks for your support, and there'll be a lot more content now with Brennan as well since we're moving into an office together. Next is a San Diego Padres Petco Park Stadium replica. Right back here. I've had this for close to a year. I only paid a dollar for it at a garage sale. Sold for $9 plus shipping. Next is some mugs up here on E1. In this box right here, it is a set of four Marlboro mugs. Pretty cool look to them, too. Those four sold for $16 plus shipping. Next thing is a mug over here in A8. This is. Good Dog by Ursula Dodge. That sold for $9 plus shipping. The mug is going out to viewer. They say, hey, I'm a huge fan of your channel and wanted to support you. My girlfriend and I have been part-time reselling and you've been an amazing learning tool. I'd appreciate if you could give me a shout out. I'm on eBay and Instagram. My username is Chicks Dig Resale. I like that. Thanks again and keep being awesome. Thanks so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Next thing is a cooler. I've had this for quite some time and I think because of the dimensions of it, the shipping was just so high for people, so it had a hard time selling. Uh, but, you know, sending offers out, I think, is what helped it out. Uh, that sold for $10 plus shipping. Next is a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses over here at E41. 
I got these at a garage sale a couple weekends ago. I paid ten dollars for them, and they sold for forty nine ninety nine plus shipping. Next are some Coca Cola Bingo Punch Out tabs. Pretty sure they're in here. Yeah, here they are. I've had these for quite some time. Honestly, they probably weren't even worth listing, <laughs> uh, but they did finally sell for eight dollars free shipping. Next thing going out are some Jurassic Park stickers. So let's see. There is two different lots, and in each lot I do a pack of yellow and a pack of red so let's bring these over here each lot of two sold for $13.99 free shipping one's going to of your name nathan and the other is going to of your name joey nathan and joey thanks for the business i hope you like the stickers next is right down here on the e5 shelf this is a set of four monster jam like monster trucks these sold for $19.99 plus shipping sold a kodak down here on B5, this is a digital camera dock kit, so there's no camera included, but there's a docking station, a little backpack, a tripod. I got this for really cheap as part of a bulk buy. It sold for $9 plus shipping. And last thing we're shipping out today is a board game on C2, this Lost Cities game, new in the plastic. I got this at a garage sale about a month ago. It was with all those toys and Harry Potter stuff that I bought that guy's little table out for. I paid about $3 for this. I sold for $14 plus shipping going out to viewer named John. John, thanks so much for the support. Before I end this video, I want to say happy birthday to Christine. Her son reached out to me saying she watches the videos and today happens to be her birthday. So Christine, thanks so much for watching my channel and I hope you have a great birthday. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.